Expert witnesses in the Karen Reed murder trial say the victim's DNA was on her taillight. The Mansfield woman is accused of backing into her boyfriend with her SUV. Katie Benoit explains why the defense didn't cross-examine those experts. Nicholas Bradford, a DNA analyst, says the DNA from three people was found during a test from Karen Reed's taillight. John O'Keefe's DNA profile was compared. So in this case, that would be very strong support for inclusion. The state crime lab also sharing its results for comparison. At least 510 non-alien times more likely if it originated from John O'Keefe and two unknown individuals than if it originated from three unknown unrelated individuals. Reed's attorneys allege evidence tampering and claim the Boston police officer was beaten up inside a Canton home and dumped outside during a 2022 snowstorm. DNA swabs from state police investigators Proctor and Buchanan were also collected and compared, but don't appear to match. Strong support for exclusion. The hair found on Reed's SUV also sent for testing. Experts testify it was consistent with O'Keefe's mitochondrial DNA. We're able to exclude at least 99.895% of the population from being a source of that evidence. Is there a specific reason that the defense didn't cross-examine those witnesses? Uh, well, yes, it, there is, which is we're not contesting the fact that it was John O'Keefe's hair that was planted on the vehicle. I mean... It was. Uh, you know, the question is, how did that magic hair survive a 30-mile drive through a blizzard and then a 30-mile drive back? The defense did cross-examine Detective Lieutenant Brian Tully about a Ford Edge a witness allegedly saw at the Canton house. He says that witness changed their story multiple times. In Dedham, Katie Benoit, NBC 10 News.